Thank you so much for pressing play. Did you press play because you were curious on what I'm going to be talking about today? So in this quote unquote episode or experiment uh, that I'm running here, I'm going to be, you're going to follow me to the gym. Then I'm going to talk about quitting. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is welcoming spontaneous moments. So with that said, thank you so much for pressing play. And here we go. Hey, what's up? So um, probably my favorite time of the day. Um, it's morning and I'm going to the gym. Usually on most occasions I I go to the gym. Um, I fell off for a while. I fell off for some time. Actually about six months I fell off. And now I've been back on track about six months in now. And I gave myself one rule. And the rule is I cannot let two days go by without going to the gym. I can go whenever I want. But I don't let two days go by without going to the gym. And that has been, you know, very effective for me in terms of keeping me motivated. And then also I don't, I try, my other goal is not to get bored, not to get bored, do, do a variety of things in the gym so I don't get bored. So I'm heading there now. As you can see, there's a lot of construction going on here. That's a hotel that's coming up. But it's it's been amazing to watch the process of that hotel starting off as like a hole in the ground and then it going up brick by brick. And it's like, it symbolizes life. Like sometimes you have to break everything down to build everything back up and building it brick by brick and doing it the right way. And um, Eventually the final product comes out, but you gotta be patient. And that's the key, you gotta, you gotta be patient. So that's how I'm, I'm, I'm applying it to my, uh, my gym routine. So even the construction here is very motivating. It lets me know that, you know, brick by brick, step by step, you know, you can get the job done. There's some more construction happening. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of movement, a lot of movement here downtown pretty exciting. I mean, there's some pros and cons, but that's with anything. So, see you in the next one. Okay, made it to the gym. What's up? What I normally do, usually when I come to the gym, I have no clue what I'm going to do in the gym. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have some type of sense of idea of what I want to focus, but most of the time I don't know what it is I want to work on because I'm usually scanning the gym to see um, what's available. Because every day is different. Every day is different in terms of like what's available to, to use on the gym. So I just kind of scan, I just kind of scan uh, the gym as I'm walking in to kind of see like, okay, what's what. And then I have different circuits or different trainings that I do based off of what I see. So I'm about to go, you know, I'm getting changed right now. I'm about to go um, go out there and work it out. good i guess the two days of recovery i feel really good after that first sprint i my body felt really loose my joints feel really loose so i like to warm up just let my body know hey i'm here i'm here okay just got done with my workout Ooh, that was a good work workout i actually decided to uh do what i call mobility training so uh just to keep my my bones flexible my hips hip flexors uh moving and uh, oiled, uh, and it was really good, really good workout. It was, it was light, but 
for the exercises I was doing, I was trying to be as intense as possible to get the most out of it. But what I want to talk about, I just got a text from my wife and she was telling me, um, hey, Trey, you have to talk to Sage, my daughter, who's five. Um, she's been talking about, she asked her a question. The question was, do we quit? Do we quit? And at first, I noticed, I had to pause, I noticed <clears throat> that I had got a little tight, uptight about, about that question. Like, I'm thinking in my mind, why she quit? We don't quit, blah, 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 blah. So I had to pause and really think, and I realized, what I realized really quick is, you know, our kids are a reflection of us. And let me move this a little bit. Our kids are a reflection of us. And I had to gut check myself first. And what I noticed were the insecurities or the doubt, the fears that I have. And, and a lot of parents, you know, as parents, you only do what you know to do. But I was able to pause for a moment to really gut check myself um, to see if there's any fears that I had attached to her saying that question, which is a legitimate question. And she could legitimately be attempting to say, hey, I want, I want to try something different or this is not suiting me anymore. But my mind immediately or my ego mind immediately wanted to, you know, shut that down. I haven't had the conversation with with her yet, but I just I just got the text. So I'm just processing it with you. Um, what would you say? What would you do um, in that in that in that instincts? But I know with me, I had to pause and really check and feel the insecurities and the fear. That's why I understand why college, like parents say, hey, go to college, get a good job, uh, you know, and, and when you're in school, get good grades and everything. Hey, what's up, Jim? Um, get, get good grades because it's, it's based in fear because, you know, our parents want the best for us, you know. Our, our, the people around us want the best for us, but sometimes the best is their, them projecting their fears onto you. So I don't want to do that. Um, and I'm grateful that I was even conscious to even catch it when I got the text. When I got the text, I was like, no, she don't like, I, you know, I was, I, was in my, I was in my feelings. I was in my bag, but I was like, no, let, let's, let me process. And I'm still processing it. Like I said, I literally just got the text right now. But uh, it's something to think about. I'm curious to hear your, your, your opinions in the comments. Um, to hear what she would do, but uh, I just thought I would share that really quick. Hopefully, it helps somebody um, out there. So, take a little break. So, yesterday I was talking about yesterday, this time it was really hard for me to get into my flow, but today. I found my flow, yeah, I, I got it. I, I jumped right into it right away. And that was a good feeling because um, it's something that you have to, you have to um, invoke, you have to invoke flow. You know, you have to, you know, put yourself in that mindset to, to uh, be in that zone. Like I used to play basketball and, and um, when you're in that zone, you're in that zone. You know, you just, you got the hot hands. So that's how I'm feeling right now. So I'm feeling good. I think it was that, that workout. Like I had that, that workout that I had today really kind of set the tone. Um, but um, knocking out some projects, working on uh, some cool stuff. So um, looking forward to share more. So it's halftime. Um, I completed my first half of my deep work session and feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. I'm here at the uh, pocket park. We have a little pocket park here uh, downtown. A lot of cool scenery. Um, it's beautiful out. My brain is fried, so 
I'm just here decompressing. I have a meeting coming up in about a half hour. And I don't like to schedule a lot of meetings. Most meetings are time consuming. It takes time to prepare. And then at the end of the meeting, it takes time to like the process, everything that you're meeting about. Um, and it, can, it just takes up a lot of time. So I try to have not too many meetings, but the meeting that I'm about to go into is usually more life-giving than, than other meetings. Uh, so I'm looking forward to a meeting with a business person here, owns a, a digital agency, a, rev op, a revenue operation shop. And we're just talking about ways how we can sync and work together um, on some projects. So I'll be heading to that in about a half hour. I'll probably do it at my uh, office. Uh, sometimes we switch, we switch it up. We've been working a few weeks now, just trying to see if there's alignment. And that's the key, like finding alignment with the right people at the right time and not being quick to rush into anything. And I've been in experiences where I just rushed into, um, rushed into opportunities or rushed into things prematurely. Uh, but I, what I really like about this particular instance is we spent some, uh, you know, weeks doing due diligence on one another, seeing where we align, not just from a business standpoint, but outside of business and, you know, personal, like more personal things. And it just happened organically. Even the, the way we met, everything else happened organically. So those are the type of meetings that are more life-giving. And I try to put more of those on my calendar than the life-sucking. Um, most meetings are, are like that. And you just, you have to have meetings. Meetings are a glue to make sure everything is, you know, on track and everything. It, it's a necessary evil. But, you know, choose your meetings wisely. At least that's what I try to do. I try to keep my calendar clear um, so I can just focus on the things that, that really matter. So, yeah, so I'm decompressing. Oh, man, it's such a beautiful day outside today. And um, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. So I'm not going to hold you too much longer. I'm going to uh, stay here for about another five minutes. And then I'll, I'll see you in the next, on the next one around. So the meeting that I had planned for earlier today got pushed back. Um, the the guy that I was meeting with had an emergency with his dog, so he had to um, go take care of that. I'm glad everything's cool with that. But what it did is allow me some time to really plan out um, and structure, you know, the deal that we're looking to to complete in in terms of partnership. And it gave me some time to really focus on that for a little bit. And then also, you know, something. Um, kind of spontaneous came out of nowhere that I was working on that kind of gave me some time to just to be loose and just chill. Uh, so a buddy of mine who texts me out of nowhere and said, yo, I guess all this talk with um, like the J. Cole and all this stuff going on. And there's an exercise that J. Cole does called the seven minute drills. It's based off of like basketball doing drills, like getting a certain amount of shots up. But basically what he does, is he gives himself seven minutes to just come up with anything, a topic, a beat. He has a beat, a topic, and he just writes whatever comes to mind, kind of sharpening the intuition. So a buddy of mine said, hey, would you want to, he texted me, he's like, would you want to um, do this with me? Because he said he was going to do it. At first I was hesitant. I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do all that. Now, mind you, just a preface, I did, I was a, I was, um, a rapper back in my day, a professional rapper, because I was actually paid to to rap and had an album and toured. And so so I had that in my repertoire, but I haven't done it in years. When I say years, I mean years, decades. And didn't even think about it because I got more on the business side of the music industry. But anyway, I was sitting here and like I said, I was feeling the flow. I was feeling good today. So I was like, you know what? Let's let's do it. I said, I'm gonna sign up for three sessions. I said, let's do it. And um, so we said, well, you choose the beat and come up with the topic. So I actually did, um, I found the beat and I wasn't, I didn't spend too much time. I just kind of like did it really quick. And um, I found the beat, this is the beat that I found. I'm not gonna rap what I, what I, um, what I, what I wrote down, but, but 
the topic was secrets. <laughs> That's actually the name of the song. The song beat was called Secrets. So I just said, hey, let's do this beat. Let's do let's do secrets. So um, I did. I was kind of shocked. Words that haven't came out in years started to come out, and I started to write, and you know, I recorded it really quick, sent it to him. He was like, "Yo, that's dope!" I'm like, "Oh wow!" So it was fun. But the lesson here that I get out of it was, after it was over, he asked me how I felt, and I was like, "I feel clear. I mentally feel clear," and it just hit me like how much you know we don't use our creative side. For me personally. Don't use my creative side because I'm always in business mode. And business mode is more of a, a left brain activity for the most part because you, you're analyzing, you're looking at numbers. And that's what I, earlier when I said that my brain was fried, which is interesting, I just I just made that connection. When I said my brain was like, because I was just working through, you know, scenario planning and things like that. Um, that was a good breakthrough in terms of, exercising a side of my brain that I wasn't using, that was latent. Not that I wasn't using, it, was, it wasn't it was using as just the maximum. So after that exercise, um, I felt clear. I felt like, wow, that felt good. Um, and I'm going to see, you know, see where it goes and just, it's, it almost felt like going to the gym, you know, just like just exercising those muscles that you haven't used before. And because um, they say if you don't use it, you lose it. So it was a really fun exercise. I always welcome spontaneous things like that when I can. Um, I did one yesterday, so did one today. So word to, word to the wise, anytime you get a chance to, to break out your norm, to break out your routine, it's always, there's always a, a there's always a, um, there's always something at the end of that rainbow, if you will, uh, to, you know, that, that, it was worth it. It was worth it. So maybe I'll share the song with you at some point. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll share the song with you at some point. But it was it was fun. At for for nothing else, it was fun. It was definitely fun. And there's three songs. There's three sessions I'm gonna do of doing this. It's seven minutes. Just whatever comes out. And then um, so I got two more to go. So maybe I'll share it with you. Maybe I won't. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna shut it down for the day. Um, you see, as you see, the uh, the sun's going down, so I want to make sure I get home before the sun goes down. But I had a really productive day. Um, pretty much got everything done that I wanted to. Had some um, spontaneous moments, which was pretty cool. So I will talk to you next time. Peace.